Hey, welcome to Sing and Cook. My name is Chef Harpal Singh Sokhi and there's been a lot of requests coming to me to cook gobi mutter, cauliflower and green peas curry. This is kind of a dry curry, almost dry and uh, eaten with chapatis in North India, everywhere I think. Also in restaurants you get this recipe gobi mutter and people love it. In restaurants they actually do, they add too much of the spices in it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cook restaurant style something which you are going to do at home and enjoy. So let's begin. First of all, some oil. I've got cauliflower cut into small florets. Okay. Now, buying a cauliflower means a compressed one is something which you will not like. Something which the florets are like separated is what you would like. So a small cauliflower, roughly weighing about, uh, about uh, 250 grams, is good enough for two people. Now traditionally, if you were to do uh, cauliflower and peas curry, the amount of cauliflower you take, similar amount of green peas is what you take. And best eaten in winters, because both the vegetables are at its best in winters. Fresh peas and of course cauliflower. So oil, cumin seeds, one teaspoon. You know, when you do cauliflower, you add ginger in a larger quantity because that's the antidote to cauliflower. Next step, I've got some ginger. So what I'm going to add, julians to this, green chilies and one large onion chopped. So saute onions until they're lightly brown, not completely brown, lightly brown because you'll keep cooking the curry. Now the onions are almost there. They'll get brown in some time. Next step, quickly add some ginger and garlic paste. To this about one teaspoon, not much. That's good enough to the quantity that I have. And tomatoes, everything I'm going to add now at this point of time. Cauliflower and green peas. You see almost uh, if one small cauliflower of 250 grams is what I've taken, I've almost taken one cup of green peas. And quickly add spices to this also. One teaspoon of red chili powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, and salt to taste, saute for two to three minutes. Now to this, what I'm going to do is add some water. looking beautiful cover it and there you go leave it like this for eight to ten minutes dry it up and we need to stir in between right so this goes with cover for eight to ten minutes on the cooking range at medium or high if it is high then you need to stand next to it so now after about eight to ten minutes there you see water almost dry so i'll cook it now and open so that the cauliflower also gets cooked and the water evaporates completely. There you go. As you hit the cauliflower, it kind of breaks up. So you know that the cauliflower is ready. And the smaller the florets, the better it is. Larger florets takes a lot of time to cook. So hence, it's very important for you to cut the florets into small size. And if you have longer stems, remove the stems and cut the stems into one by four. So almost drying up now, very important, as it dries up, I'm going to add fresh coriander into, fresh coriander, loads of it into cauliflower gives a fantastic flavor. I tell you, most people think that, you know, coriander is only for garnish, but in dishes like this, especially uh, the cauliflower and green peas curry, cauliflower, gobi mutter, coriander inside the curry gives a great taste. Now this is ready, simple, delicious, and I'll keep it a little moist. Wow. Coriander leaf as garnish, and some pickled ginger julians. Now for pickled ginger julian, you can always browse how to do pickled ginger julians in my YouTube channel, yeah. This is now ready, simple, goes best with parathas. 